and that uh, it's only uh, after it breaks through the ground that the remarkable growth that is going on uh, suddenly becomes apparent, and then it looks like they grow up overnight. Uh, we made a commitment through the National Office, uh, the National Court, 15 years ago, that probably the first thing we need to do to get a right in Canada is have the assessment process to help candidates uh, prepare, not for what the church was decades ago, but for what the opportunities and privileges are here at this time. And uh, look forward to seeing how God will continue. Ah bon. L'enregistrement, voilà. ah, ah. et puis, et puis, cook. We're all okay for now. Yeah. You're just fine. You do what you need to do. I'm just fitting in the opportunity, that's all. Exactly.
congregation may be seated. These ministers who are members of this district have completed all the requirements as established by the Church of the Nazarene for ordination as elders. They've been graduated by the District Board of Ministerial Studies and they have been examined by the Board of Ministerial Credentials. They've been elected to receive these orders by this district assembly. And on behalf of the district, I commend to you Lindsay Dawn Enns and Murray Cum to be ordained as elders and Exos Amani to be recognized as an elder. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary, and to each of you, our heartfelt congratulations. This is a wonderful culmination of a, of a pilgrimage, a spiritual pilgrimage that's brought you now to this very special time of consecration. In a few moments, we will lay hands on you to ordain you, and we will recognize you as an elder, but it will not be our hands in the truest sense that ordain you. God Almighty ordained you to be a minister of the gospel. It became obvious to us that he called you, you responded, you prepared yourself, you've given evidence of gifts and graces for Christian ministry, and now we jubilantly come together as the church to affirm what we now know. You are to be ordained as a minister of the gospel. So our congratulations to you as you make fresh, new, covenant vows with the Lord to follow and serve to the Lord. You may be seated, please. Till 
Superintendent in the Church of the Nazarene, I ordain thee elder in the Church of God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, I pray for Lindsay and that you, O God, may count Lindsay worthy of her calling, and that by your power she may fulfill every good purpose of yours Amen. and every act prompted yes. by her yes. faith. Amen. I pray this so that the name Amen. of Jesus, our Lord, may yes. be glorified yes. in and through Lindsay's life yes, and ministry. Pray. Yes, we pray. According to the grace of our God Amen. and the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. bless her life Lord. with help and inner strength through the power of your Holy Spirit to do your will as a minister of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This we ask in the powerful name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 Would you kneel, please? We're not going to lay hands on our brother. He's already ordained. Uh, we will lay hands on him after the recognition and uh, pray a prayer of blessing on him. Exos Banza Amani. By the authority vested in me as a general superintendent in the Church of the Nazarene, I recognize you, Elder, in the Church of God, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you lay hands on them, please, as we pray a prayer of blessing for them. 
Gracious God, we give you thanks. Yes. We stand in awe tonight of your ways. Hallelujah. They are amazing to us. Amen. To think of the distance that this couple has traveled to be here in this place tonight and at this place of kneeling and in this act, uh, joining in the ministry of the Church of the Nazarene. We give you thanks and praise. And we yes. ask you now, O oh God, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. they would be filled with all the measure of the fullness of God. Yes. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would grace and bless them for the ministry that they have Amen. in Edmonton and anywhere Amen. else in the world in which, uh, yes, to which they are called. Thank you. We, we pray that out of your glorious riches, you will strengthen them with power through your spirit and their inner being, that Christ may dwell in their hearts through faith. Pray that they would be rooted and established in love and have power together with all the saints everywhere to grasp the width and breadth and length, height and depth of your love. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that they, ex in particular, Lord, may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. To you, O Lord, be all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'm going to exit with the secretary and with the newly ordained elders. Go into the reception area. I will speak privately to each of them, give them their credential, and then we will wait there until you have viewed uh, some DVDs that have been prepared for you, tell a little bit of their personal testimonies. And uh, then you can also join us for some refreshment in the atrium area, please. So if the ordination, pardon me, not candidates, if the newly ordained elders will join me, we'll exit. The rest of you can be seated to watch the DVD, and then we'll join you in a few moments in the atrium. <laughs> Quel est votre nom? Exaucé à moi. Le Révérend. Oui, hey, merci c'est ça, beaucoup. Ah, l'ancienne. Que la joie de. Mais c'est, 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 ça, c'est Madame Yvette. Oui. Oui. Mais c'est bien. C'est bien ça.